Hey guys, <clears throat> Mike Lewis, your friendly neighborhood realtor. Uh, anyway, that, that might be taken, who knows. Uh, I keep, it seems like my out of state uh, peeps, uh, clients, keep talking to me about scorpions. I think if you don't live in Arizona or you've never lived in Arizona, uh, scorpions must be like something that's really scary to you. Um, I just thought I would go over a few things just to calm people down about uh, our scorpion problem here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, I've lived here over 40 years and been stung one time and it was not a big deal. It was like a bee sting. So um, my toe was numb for a few days afterwards, but uh, not, not a big issue. Um, if you live in the outskirts of town, uh, I live up in Anthem, so I'm like on the boundaries. My backyard is pretty much desert. Uh, I think you'll get a higher concentration of them. My wife's been stung. Two of my daughters have been stung. We're all still alive, doing fine. <laughs> it's uh, They're scary, obviously. Uh, they're, you don't want to be stung, but it's you shouldn't like avoid Phoenix because of scorpions or uh, pests or rattlesnakes or anything. Uh, I don't know one person that's ever been bit by a rattlesnake. They warn you. So, uh, and scorpions, um, there's a, plenty of places in town, interior places where scorpions are, you'll never even see one probably. Um, it's just a few thoughts. Um, if you want to get rid of them, if you are frightened of them, you can get pest control. I've heard that scorpions are pretty tough, and even if you spray your house, they'll walk right over the poison and still get in. I've heard you can use uh, DE, which is like a, it's like a seashells that have been ground up and the scorpions and insects don't like to land on it because it cuts them all up. I've heard you can put that around the boundary of your house and that will really help. Uh, they don't, they won't want to walk over it. Um, you can get that here, like your pool supply place. Um, it's called DE powder. I try to pronounce it, but I probably screw it up. Diametric earth or something. I don't remember. Anyway, that helps. Um, if you do the pest control, they say if you keep the other bugs out, the scorpions won't come in to, to kill them. They're predators. So I've heard that helps. I I don't ever spray our house, so once in a while we get a scorpion. Probably, I'd probably kill five or six a year in the house. But like I said, we're on the very boundaries of Phoenix, and we back up to a desert. We're going to see a lot more than you know, normal uh, family in Phoenix. I guarantee you there's people that have lived here for 50 years and never seen a scorpion. They just live here in the uh, interior parts of Phoenix, not close to the big mountains. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions about scorpions, you've got some fear of them, just let me know. I know some people are allergic, but you ask some questions in the comments. I'll try to get you good answers. Um, I just, it seems like half the people that call me and, uh, you know, they're from Chicago or from LA or whatever, and they're thinking about moving to Phoenix, it seems like scorpions always comes up. So just, I think it's silly. <laughs> it's a little bug. It's not, it's not something that's going to hurt you badly. It's not going to kill you unless you have got some crazy allergic to it. Or maybe if you were, uh, I don't even know. You'd have to be really close to death, I think, if, for a scorpion to push you over the edge. Anyway, um, we'll talk again real soon. Later.